Hi there! In today's video, um, I'm going to share with you the top five tips on how to read your Bible. And they are absolute basics, they are absolute fundamentals. And that's why this is the first video of Help I'm a Baby series. Um, so my top five tips of how to study the Bible. Tip number one, pray, pray, pray. This is absolute key. You can't read the Bible without the Lord helping you to understand. You can't understand it without his help. Um, the Bible is divinely inspired and you are human. The only way you understand it is God helps you. So trust the Holy Spirit and pray to the God, pray to God to help you understand the, what you're reading. So approach it prayerfully. Before you even open your Bible, pray. All the time. If you read it, you don't understand it, pray. Okay? Prayer. First thing ever. Number two. Read the whole Bible. There are a lot of Christians who just read. They just read like this bit of it. They just read the New Testament. Well, to be honest. So they just read the New Testament and maybe Psalms and Proverbs. And look, look at the percentage. This is New Testament, this is Old Testament. But it's it's like it's one book. It's like two chapters. In a, in a book. You have to read it all. Because you, you, you have to understand everything properly, you have to read the whole story. That's why you read it all. And whether you start in the Old Testament in Genesis, or if you start in the New Testament in Matthew, it doesn't matter. If you're a new Christian, I recommend start in the New Testament. It's just a bit easier. Uh, before you go to the Old Testament, but do come to the Old Testament. Or another way is you could you could also read one book in the New Testament and then one book in the Old Testament. Um, you can alternate, it's up to you, but read the whole Bible, okay? Tip number three. Do not adjust scripture to your views, but let your views be shaped. By scripture. This is crucial. Reading the Bible is not always comfortable because the Bible is like a mirror and when you look at the mirror in the morning you might not always like what you see. But the thing is if you don't see the things that are wrong you can't do anything about them. Therefore the Bible is like a mirror. It shows you what is wrong with you. It also encourages you but it, it does do a lot of showing what is wrong with you. And, and you need to accept that to be able to do something about it. Because realization is the first step to improvement. Okay? So don't adjust the Bible to, view, view, to your views, but adjust your views to the Bible. And that can be painful sometimes, and that's what we call dying to self. That's part of, the, part of this. Script, uh, point number Four, scripture never, never ever contradicts itself. You will read things and they will puzzle you. You will read things and they seem to contradict each other. Believe me, scripture does not contradict each other. It, on the surface it might look like it, but often it's just two sides of the same coin. And very often it's just our level of understanding that has to grow and then all of a sudden we, we get the whole picture, we understand it because scripture doesn't contradict itself. Because scripture is God's word and, and if God would contradict himself then that would mean that not everything he says is true. But everything he says is true and therefore it doesn't contradict itself. So if you find something that is contradictive, that's okay. You will grow and you will understand it one day. Okay, step number five. Tip number five. It's not always about progress. It's great to read the Bible in a year. It's great to read at a fast pace and just get a, a broad picture and overview over the whole Bible. It's, it's great, it's beneficial, but it's not about progress. It's about knowing what is written in there. So, 
I read the Bible in nine months last year and that was great, it gave me a great overview, but it's not enough. My usual pace is really slow and I'm reading in, in Acts at the moment and I am telling you I started that, so I'm in chapter like 19 or so now and I started this in November last year and now we have April. So I'm reading at a very slow pace because I don't just read to make to make progress, I want to read to know what is actually in there. Um, so one approach for example would be to just read and repeat, repeatedly read it, that's in general the thing. Read the Bible not just once but repeat it, come back to it again and again and again, so take time to read. So these are my, these are my top five tips of how to study the Bible. I repeat them once more. Tip number one, prayer. All the time, prayer. Tip number two, read the whole Bible. Tip number three, let the Bible shape your views. Tip number four, the Bible never contradicts itself. And tip number five, um, take time. Take time to read. So these are my top five tips and we will soon hear more about more tips and further tips because there are some great things of uh, how to study the Bible and some great um, ways of, of learning more about the Bible and diving deeper into it. But for now, these basic things are simple and easy and you can apply them straight away. Um, you don't need any extra material. All you need is your Bible and hopefully it's always good to have a, something to write with you um, and if you want some highlighters or something. But yeah, essentially all you need is your Bible. So you can start with those five tips straight away and you will see a difference. Until next time.